Okay, here I am in the bathroom. I just went pee. Andy, this one's for you. I know you wanted to see the live. Cheers. I don't know, like, it's bizarre, really. It's so bizarre, like, that would have totally been impossible for me to do two days ago. And I started on Thursday with homeopathic, like a few drops under the tongue. So what have I noticed? Taste of my urine's changing, it's more palatable. Yes, I'll share it with you sometime. Uh, what else am I noticing? Whole body definitely is more interconnected, smarter. There's some feedback loops happening. Uh, I'm curious about like, just the recycling aspect and how that affects caloric intake. I've been reading a lot on it, been reading a lot of books, and it seems like it definitely affects caloric intake, meaning you just simply need less because you make more out of all your nutrients. Uh, I know, bad news, bad news if you just love to eat or eat to live, probably, but uh, great news if uh, you've got other things to do with your life and you just want to feel amazing and, and then be into food when you're into food and, you know, just like you're into, like, whatever, sports when you're into sports, and it's just not like this controlling factor of your health and your life. In a limiting way. So that's curious. Uh, I want to say, I want to say addictive. Like there's this, there's this sense of like, ooh, huh. I am naturally doing it and it's curious. I mean, addictive in the sense of like when you start doing a habit where it like naturally propels itself. It's definitely regenerative. So my skin does feel amazing. My skin feels amazing. Rubbing it on my skin maybe twice a day doing full urine baths. Uh, quick. Like right when I wake up in the morning, I'm like, oh, that'd be fun. <laughs> and then at, at night we hot tub, and then I'll just do one right after the hot tub. Yeah. I don't know what else. What else do you want to know? Uh, the taste is changing. It's less strong. Yeah, so I don't know why. I don't, I don't know about that. Um, d caffeine intake decreasing, for sure. Like, just, like, you know, don't need as, don't want, don't want stuff that's, like, oh, that's a little whatever. Just everything's, you get more out of everything. That's what it is. Lessons learned day, let's see, Thursday I was doing homeopathic under the tongue and massages. Oh, last night, too, I did a pack on my, on my shin. Yeah, this one right here. So I did a pack here, just soaked a rag in urine, put a plastic bag on it, wrapped it with an ace bandage. I uh, went to bed. And so that was on for maybe, I don't know, seven hours last night. What did I notice from it? I'm curious about the polypeptides, the amino acid chains. Like I'm thinking of feeding deeper nutrition into the bone. That was my, that was my sort of rational, logical thinking process. Wound healing is going great. Do you want to see the wound? Of course you want to see the wound. The wound. Hold on. Hold on. It's coming. It's coming. I have to roll up my pants. Okay. Wound. So four weeks post-surgery. It changes daily. Like right now, today it's really purple. I stretched out a lot. Oh, that's what I noticed too from the... Uh, that's what I noticed from the pack last night, the compress, was that a lot of the scar tissue was softer. This is way softer this morning in here. There's less of a bulge. There's more of a bulge there. And, and then it turned purple. And I had done yoga yesterday and actually stretched it a lot of micro tears in that scar tissue just from, my, from basically doing deep quad stretching, like bridge pose and back bend type stuff. Not full back bend, but you know, back bend type stuff. So yeah. Who knew? Uh, aftertaste, yeah, you're wondering about the aftertaste in my mouth. Bitter, a little uriny. Yeah, tastes like a little bit like urine in my mouth. There's that. Oh, I noticed, um, 
I noticed yesterday, and then it was this morning as well, like these, these little chunks, these like little baby tiny chunks of mucus, like very thick mucus, tiny chunks of that. I used to, and it reminded me how much mucus I used to have, like in my pre, whatever, when even maybe five years ago, I probably still had.